You know what they say, right? If at first you don't succeed, try several more times. And if you still continue to fail, go the blockchain and NFT route. Before we go any further, I just wanna take a moment here to thank all of the absolute chads and chadettes that support this channel via Patreon. You're all freaking legends. Seriously, each and every single one of you. I would offer to give each of you a kiss, but I suffer from severe intimacy issues. Additionally, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest MMO gotcha and gaming news, take a second here to follow Mrs. Six and I over on Twitter. We tweet daily. First, there was Bless Online. Then, after that abomination, was Bless Unleashed, which after failing horrendously, came Bless Mobile. But now, after three consecutive failures, we have Bless Global. The very first AAA level, fully cross-platform compatible MMORPG on PC and mobile from GameFi, the very same people behind one of the worst rated gacha games that I've seen on the Google Play Store, Yilgong Online, a play to earn mobile MMO. But with so many failures under their belt, you might be wondering to yourself, what does Bless Global plan on doing differently? to all of the games that were created and subsequently released before it. Because let's be honest here, they're gonna have to do something absolutely monumental to A, win back any of the players that abandoned all three of the previous blessed games, and B, set themselves apart from the stink that now follows the blessed intellectual property. Like Yulgong Online, blockchain technology, and NFTs. Now, according to a press release from Tygon Mobile, who is a subsidiary of Long2 Korea, pre-registration for Bless Global began on August 12th, which was last week. Now, as you can see on screen right now, players are actually capable of visiting the pre-registration page for the game. You know, if being scammed and taken advantage of three times already wasn't enough. Now, as of today, which is August, Six, dude, I didn't even know what day it was today, but uh, August 16th, which is four days after pre-registration has been open, there have been less than 15,000 total players that have pre-registered, specifically 13,891. Yeah, I think uh, players might finally be catching on. It only took, what, five years, hundreds of millions of dollars wasted and repeated failed re-releases. Now, Bless Global is GameFi's first AAA attempt in the Web3 world to bring their vision to life. Tygon Mobile and GameSpace will be collaborating on a platform, Pocket Buff, to support NFT transactions. Bless Global is supposedly adapting the entire PC version of Bless Online, not Bless Unleashed, not Bless Mobile. Its story, its lore, with, in their words here, not mine, console level graphics console level graphics on a mobile device right yeah i can totally see that bless global is gamefi's first triple a level mmorpg besides the game's rich and interesting characteristics it also incorporates the latest trend of blockchain technology nft and utility tokens gameplay providing multiple earning opportunities traditional gameplay and nfts to generate a variety of fun ways to play. Complete the official website sign up to get a chance at pass card drops and enjoy a high drop rate of NFT earnings in advance. Doesn't this just sound absolutely inviting? Now, according to a spokesperson from Tygon Mobile, the new Blast MMO is going to be launching completely cross platform, which in Asia means it's a mobile game that has a very deeply flawed, highly unoptimized PC port that we half-assed at the last moment to maximize our earnings. This is to, in their words, ensure accessibility and continuous enjoyment for all users. With regards to play to earn, Tygon Mobile says that they are dedicated to expanding the platform's ecosystem. It's unconfirmed when specifically this is launching, but it is, no doubt, launching very soon. The fact that they are already in the process of pre-registration is evidence of that. But seriously, just for a moment here, I I'm genuinely curious. Is there anyone out there that believes we need another Bless MMO? Seriously, do, do anyone 
at all. Now, if Bless Global looks like a dumpster fire waiting to happen, that's because it is. Then you might be interested in an actual good cross-platform MMO that just launched, or alternatively, a list of other confirmed upcoming MMOs slated for release in 2022.